prices. For the past decade, the mega cap eight, that's the MagSev plus Netflix, traded at a hefty premium to the broader S&P. We can see their price to earnings ratio began to decouple as early as 2013, peaking in 2021 with the mega cap eight at a PE ratio of 37, while the S&P was closer to 20. That's an 85% premium, historic by any standard. But now, in just the past few weeks, that gap has closed. Mega cap PE ratios have come crashing down and are now much closer to the market average. This compression tells us two things. First, investors no longer believe big tech deserves such lofty multiples. And second, the narrative that big tech uniquely benefits from AI is starting to fade. Of course, tariffs still matter. Big tech's global supply chains and reliance on China mean it's especially vulnerable to trade restrictions. But deep sea cuts even deeper because it's not just a short-term risk. It's a potential paradigm shift. In an interview, Nvidia CEO Jensen Huang acknowledged the buzz around deep sea. R1 DeepSeek was a fantastic thing. R1 is the first open sourced reasoning model. It was the exact opposite conclusion that everybody had. If reasoning AI requires more computing power, then Nvidia may still benefit long term as demand for advanced chips stays strong. And indeed, despite the price drop, Nvidia says its chip sales remain robust. Still, the broader implication of DeepSeek is clear. Open sourced, cost-efficient AI is now in the hands of everyone, not just trillion-dollar tech giants. That could transform productivity across the economy. Data from the Foundation AI survey shows that companies see the biggest AI benefits in time savings and unlocking new capabilities. And cost reduction, that means more innovation and higher earnings, which translates directly to higher stock market valuations. These are advantages that could soon be enjoyed by the whole S&P 500, not just the MAG7.